What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I'm a graphic designer and I'm currently living in San Diego where it's summer right now. So as you can imagine outside, it's really beautiful. People are out and about, going to the beach, having events, things like that. And a lot of these events that you have over the summer, you wanna have like a really cool invite. Um, I personally like vintage and kind of retro styled ones. So today we're gonna to show you how to make one in Illustrator. All right, so I got Illustrator open here at a size of 16 by 20 inches. Again, this is a standard kind of poster size that you, you know typically use for gig posters, invites, things like that. So gone ahead and made that document size, 16 by 20. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start with, uh, with our background here. I have a nice little color palette selected here. Kind of a tropical, cool, summery kind of palette. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and make this uh, whole canvas this sort of orange pinkish color. I kind of want this to be like a tropical sort of beach scene. Maybe I'm having a you know, barbecue at the beach or something. Gonna invite all my friends. So, you know, starting with the background here, we've got this kind of nice color going on. And um, I kind of want my focal point to be like a sun. So let's just grab a, you know, white color and just kind of grab middle of the document, hold shift and alt, just sort of make a perfectly scaled circle here. So this is gonna be our sun. I actually probably only want about half of this to show. So I'm just gonna delete that anchor point right there. And uh, you can go ahead and get your pen tool and just connect it back up if you want to. So that's kind of like a, uh, a setting sun, if you will. Now let's, um, let's make our, uh, our horizon line some water here. So I'm gonna grab this kind of like teal color. I guess you could call that teal. It's kind of like a, uh, an aqua, a light aqua or something like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just find this kind of like same line, the same plane that this uh, sun is setting on. And I'm just gonna drag, make this square. So this is like our ocean layer, or sea. Um, so you can kind of see, you know, the sun is setting into this sort of like sea that we've created here. Now let's make uh, let's make some mountains. So let's just grab our rectangle tool, hold Shift and Alt, and just scale this up, and just rotate this guy sideways. Boom, cool. Now we're gonna grab our darker kind of purple color. And I'm just gonna do what I did before and just get rid of this bottom anchor point. And there we kind of have this like kind of a triangle mountain shape here. Now I wanna round, I wanna round these edges. I think it's a little too sharp right now. So if I grab my direct selection tool, you see this little uh, circle that pops up and this little like line underneath. This is basically allows you to kind of like bevel and curve the edges here. So I'm just gonna hold that and drag down. And we've kind of, there you go. See, we've rounded that, that edge right there. So now we got like a smooth little mountain peak here. I'm just gonna hold uh, Alt and Shift and make another one and just kind of shrink this down a little bit. This is like the, you know, neighboring mountain that's like a little bit smaller than that one. So now we kind of have uh, two little mountain, mountain tops here. Uh, I'm gonna go to my Pathfinder. I'm just gonna merge these two. So I think uh, it's called Unite, so. If you just click this little guy, it'll kind of like push them together. So now this is like one graphic, one little shape. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this guy. Boom, holding Alt and Shift. And I'm gonna grab my lighter color because this one's gonna go behind with some aerial perspective. It's gonna give the illusion that it's further back. So I just push that behind with a command bracket. Um, that'll actually kind of push it behind a layer. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Now we kind of have some depth. I might delete this one because it might be a little too busy. We just want that one. Maybe make it a little bigger. There, we kind of have, you know, a little bit of depth happening here where it looks like this mountain is further back. Um, and now what we'll do is uh, maybe we'll add one more mountain over here just to give it a little bit more variety. Let's go ahead and make some clouds. So let's grab our ellipse tool, hold shift. There, we got a circle. We'll duplicate this, make this one a little bit bigger. And let's do it one more time and maybe find something in between both of those. Whoops, don't wanna move my background. Shrink that down, cool. And then we're gonna grab our rectangle tool and kind of find the center point of these guys and just drag it across. And then we'll select all of these and with our shape builder tool, we'll just kind of select these regions. 
And now what, basically what that did is it kind of made like a cookie cutter out of these and now we can just delete those. So now we have a cool little cloud here. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uni unite all these. I'm gonna shrink that down a little bit. Maybe sample uh, our, our sky color and make this a little bit darker. So we can kind of see our cloud. There we go. That's a cute little cloud right there. So we got some clouds, that's cool. Um, now let's kind of make this uh, water look a little bit more wavy. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the pen tool and our white color and just uh, kind of draw, just draw like a line across here. And then I'm gonna kind of circle back and just kind of make some, you know, abstract foamy wave shapes here. So I'm just kind of like a little push and pull with the pen tool here, kind of making this like kind of smooth sort of silhouette of this like wave. And you know, get creative with it. Um, now this doesn't look perfect to me because it's a little like choppy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this graphic and we're gonna go to our smooth tool. Um, you gotta make sure that this is definitely selected and then just kind of like draw along the edge of this. And this is where the magic happens. Look at that, ooh, smooth. Let's make our foreground sand, like our beach. So I'm gonna grab this lighter color and just make uh, a square down here. Let's go ahead and make a uh, little like leaf thing right here. So this is gonna be one of those like kind of uh, tropical looking spiky plants. I don't even know what you would call them. Um, and we're just gonna grab our rotator tool and move our little pivot point down here. So now what happens if I drag, I kind of see how it pivots at the bottom there. We're gonna, we're gonna do that, we're gonna hold Alt and then Command E. Ring, look at this. Makes a nice little like kind of fan effect. And um, we're just gonna delete half of it. We only want half. So this could be like a cool like, you know, like bush that's like kind of in the foreground. So we're gonna grab our dark color since it's closer to you and you know, it's kind of like a silhouette. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put it around right here. All right, so that's looking cool. Now let's grab, uh, let's make another bush. Maybe we wanna make this one a little bit um, different in nature. Kind of like this, like, uh, you know, flower petal sort of, I don't even know. I'm just kind of making this up from memory here. Um, but same thing, we'll grab uh, the rotator tool and we'll just move this guy down here and we'll just duplicate. And then Command E. Cool. Maybe it's like an agave plant or something. I don't even know. It looks cool though. And then throw this guy kind of in the corner here. And maybe this one's not as dark as that. Let's go a little bit lighter. Let's, um, cause I want to layer these together. So maybe this one kind of overlaps quite a bit. And we're starting to get some kind of cool foreground stuff happening here, which is nice. Um, maybe we'll duplicate him, make him a little smaller and then just even make him a little bit darker. And, uh, you know, maybe rotate it to give it a little bit more variety. And maybe even bring one of these guys over here since we have already created them. And then kind of put, put them in the back. Cool. So now we have some kind of like depth happening with these different plants that I just made up. Um, but I feel like we still are missing something. Let's maybe, um, let's make another plant. Let's, um, let's grab our pen tool and just kind of make a Nice little S curve here. This will be our, uh, what do you call it? Like the stem? I guess this would be like the stem of the plant. And um, for now, we'll just select a, a stroke. We don't want a, a fill on this. And again, we'll use our smooth tool and we'll just make this look nicer. Cool, so we kind of have this like stem 
and uh, I want to make some leaves that'll kind of go up this stem. So I'm just going to drag with my pen tool, make a nice little leaf, and I'm just going to grab this darker color. And let's just rotate this guy, and then uh, sort of follow this this stem down. I'm just holding Alt and Shift as I'm doing this, and slow slightly rotating these as I kind of come down the stem here. So I'll group this this whole plant here and I'll just bring them over here. And maybe I'll uh, make this stroke have a nice like rounded cap. There we go. Sweet. So we kind of have this like variety of plants here now. I might even add like one more, one more type of plant, maybe like a, an actual bush. So let's grab our pencil tool, select this color and go a little bit lighter because this is going to be the furthest one away. And I'm just going to kind of come in here with my pencil tool and just sort of make some like random bush, kind of push it to the back of all these. And maybe uh, bring them down a little bit. Cool. So now you can kind of see I have this like scene happening here, where we've got, you know, sunset. We've got some water, some waves, some like foreground foliage. Um, I still feel like we could use something else, maybe like a, like a palm tree or something. Yeah. Let's let's make a little palm tree. So I'm gonna grab my darkest color. And I'm just going to start creating over here. So I'm going to make the, the trunk of the tree. It kind of looks like a palm tree trunk. Just kind of manipulate these handles a little bit. Cool. I like that. Now, let's make the, uh, the palm tree leaves. So, or palm fronds, whatever you want to call them. Let's just make this guy. That's pretty cool. I might even add a little bit more bend to this. I think if I go to effect and warp, I can manipulate, there we go, I can manipulate these guys a little bit, give a little bit more of a, an arch, and I'll just unite it. Actually, object expand appearance will kind of make it a flat graphic. So yeah, now we have this kind of like cool beach scene here. This is like palm tree. Uh, let's go ahead and add like a title up here. Um, let's see, what are we gonna call this party? I have this kind of cool like scripty kind of retro font. Let's see what we got, tropical party. That's kind of fun. There's a lot of movement in this, uh, this, this font face here. And I'm gonna grab my white to really make this stand out against this background. Nice. Nice. Cool, maybe there's like a subtitle for this party. Um, I'll grab a different font, maybe our Brandon Grotesque medium and just bring this guy down a little bit. Um, actually bring him up, make him white as well. Let's see here, tropical party. Let's get weird. And we'll just turn this out a little bit. I don't know, maybe you're gonna get weird at your party, I don't know. People do it. Um, and we'll just make this bold. Our trees are a little bit big, so we'll bring them down a little bit. They're kind of crowding me a little bit. And let's just shrink this guy down a little bit, zoom in. This could be anything, right? So this is like the title of your party. And this could be like maybe the tagline for it. Um, maybe I'll just add <clears throat> a nice like line to kind of keep everything, you know, sort of well balanced and kind of just frame this title a little bit more. And I mean, you can, you can go as crazy as you want with this whole title thing. If you want to put, um, you know, the date of the event, if you'd like to add a phone number or address, you can do, certainly do that. 
But this is just to quickly show you. With basic shapes, you can make a nice composition in Illustrator. And, you know, really kind of make this, this invite look official and kind of uh, interesting and get people talking about your party. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and, uh, you know, I'll bring you more videos. Thank <laughs> you.